Where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we have seen this star in the east, and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy, and offered gifts of good of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Welcome to one of our blog, another one of our vlogs from St. Mark's Episcopal in Dalton, and welcome everyone from Facebook and YouTube. This is the um, uh, second of two, or, or one of the two that we're going to have this week at Christmas. Hope everyone is enjoying a special Christmas tide season. Uh, the star was very important to the Christmas story, as predicted in Matthew, because in the uh, Greco-Roman era. Uh, a star announced a gift to the world. Usually a uh, star was associated with the uh, coming of a king. For instance, when Julius Caesar was born, it said that a star appeared. Uh, so a star was a national of a gift from the heavens to the earth. So uh, it was very important. So the Magi uh, came in appreciation that a gift had been given to the God. Now, is our tradition, uh, everybody knows about the tradition of the Rock of, uh, Christmas tree in Rockefeller Center in New York. It's probably the most popular Christmas tree in America. Uh, it's, uh, the lighting of it is uh, an event on television every year. It's, it's live when it's lit up, and it's usually a great performance surrounding that. It's said that 125 million people attend uh, or go to see the Christmas tree every year. And that's pretty amazing, 125 million every year. So, But it's an interesting story about how this Christmas tree got started because that was never intended uh, to be the event that it is. Uh, it turned out that uh, during the Great Depression, John D. Rockefeller Jr. Uh, 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 leased the land from, uh, that uh, Rockefeller Center is, is owned today from Columbia, Columbia University. And he leased the land to build a new uh, help build a new Metropolitan Opera. Well, unfortunately, the Depression came and they could not afford to relocate the Metropolitan Opera. So John D. Rockefeller Jr. Uh, tried to find someone else to take the land. So he turned it into a commercial development and we got RCA and their uh, new uh, subsidiary, NBC, to uh, move there, move their offices there, and then started selling other uh, to other industries and leasing it out. So uh, when they started building Rockefeller Center in 19, summer of 1931, it was a very much of a prime job. Jobs were very scarce, and, and this was the worst part of the Depression going on then. Jobs were very scarce, and these were steady, well-paying jobs. And most of the workers who built the Rockefeller uh, Center were Italian immigrants uh, to America, Italian Catholics. So they were very grateful to have these jobs and, um, and a steady income at this time. So while they were building this, it came at Christmas, the workers decided to um, pool their resources together from their paycheck. And um, on Christmas Eve, they bought a 20-foot Christmas tree. And then they and their families made decorations for the tree. Uh, they strung uh, real cranberries together. They got paper to make garlands out of. They actually used tin cans as ornaments and, and put tin cans on the tree. So on Christmas Eve, after work ended that day, they put... Um, uh, they decorated the tree, and thus we had a, a tree at Rockefeller Center for the people of New York in gratitude for the jobs that the workers had. It became so popular that two years later, Rockefeller Center began building its own tree, and they put up a 50-foot tree, and the tradition's been going on ever since 1933. But it was started out uh, not by Rockefeller Center itself, but by the workers who were trying to construct Rockefeller Center. Uh, we started out this uh, uh, blog with the story of the Magi as, as presented in Matthew. And the Magi gave the gifts in appreciation and gratitude uh, for uh, a gift to the world. It just says the Italian Catholics who were building Rockefeller Center in, a, um, in appreciation and gratitude for the jobs they have gave a gift of a Christmas tree to New York. So this Christmas, all of us will be very fortunate and receive uh, many gifts and be able to give many gifts and be very, I'm sure we will all delight in that. But let us give and receive an appreciation and gratitude for God's gift to us, for God sent Jesus to save us from our sins. So thanks be to God and may everyone have a blessed Christmastide season.